my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Well, I know <laughs> I look funny. I just removed my makeup because we are going to use or do a full face of sheer glam makeup. We are going to actually go into this full makeup bag and do a full face. So if you want to see that, please keep on watching. Okay, guys, Whew. this one was heavy. I bought the full face of this product. Now, I didn't buy the foundation. It's because I already have a foundation, Sheer Glam, that I used or reviewed on my channel before. I'm going to link it up here if I don't forget it. This is the Complexion Pro Long Lasting Breathable Matte Foundation. So we are going to use this one and I'm going to take out all of the products so I can see what I'm having. And this bag is... No, this bag is full with makeup. It's full. It's heavy. Okay, God, so this took me a while to open everything. And I have to say, everything is so nice packed. Everything is sealed, so you see that the things are not used or not open. Uh, I also bought the um, brushes, the brush, brush, the brush uh, set. No, let's take them out. I haven't seen them. I know you should wash these before use, but we are not going to do that. It's because we don't have time. Take a brush holder and just put these in. So we can use them. They are soft, very cute, very cute. I don't know how many brushes we have here. Plenty. Face brushes and also eyeshadow brushes. It, they feel feel very soft. They feel dull light, but you get what you pay for. So I have plenty of these brushes now. I'm not the brand, it's Mange, Man, Mange, Man, I don't know. Can you see? This is the brand name. I have no idea. So I will just tell you the name of the brushes, but or the number of the brushes when I use them. I don't know if it's the best quality, but it's here to be used. So let's see what we're getting. Now I like for you guys, I told you that I didn't buy a foundation because I like this is the matte version but I actually saw that I did buy a foundation too and I am going to use this one this is the skin finish hydrating foundation so if you want to see my full review of this matte version you can I will try to link it up here spoiler alert I do like it but I also bought the same shape actually so let me just put this one away but hydrating, so we are going to use that. I didn't go for hydrating, but I think I just went for this to try another foundation. Okay, I also used with the sponge. This is the sponges, you get five. I did wear it, so you see how it expanded and became really, really huge. Feels soft and light. I also bought the Fresh Sesh, Sesh Brush and Sponge Shampoo. I I am going to use it, but look at the packaging. I really like the packaging. I like it. It says what is from without parabens, sulfates, and phthalene. This is what it says. I don't know. I think the packaging is really cute. Packaging is really cute. So I will let you know how this works. And I also bought, which I don't, which I didn't remember, the nurturing face cleansing balm and let me just say I removed my makeup it's late it's a 636 and I removed my makeup with my regular balm but I forgot that I bought this one I will try to put the pictures here on the screen so you can see how it looks online but you get the spatula here, oh my lights, and then I think you, it smells almost nothing, get the product here. So I'll try this one too and I'll let you know, I like the packaging though, it looks really cute. 
so we'll use that. Another time I also bought the powder puffs, makeup puffs, I don't know if I'm going to use them today, but I know what we are going to use. Let's <laughs> come a little bit closer. We are going to use the eyeshadow primer. This is a Ready Set Primer, She Glam. It says here, behind every bomb eyeshadow is She Glam Ready Set Primer to keep, to keep your color in place, smudge and crease free, the way it means to be. Enjoy pumped up pigmentation and long lasting eye looks from AM to PM or PM to AM, if that's your th thing. Bonus, it is build, uh, building brush allows to super smooth application. I mean, um, description of this primer sounds like professionals. Look how cute this is. I don't know if it has any pigment, but it does has the does have a brush. Okay. I'm not really a big fan of these kind of applicators. Um, no, I use my what's called the Urban Decay. This one feels drier than Urban Decay one. And it looks like it has some pigmentation, but not really. So I'm going to blend it with my finger. I'm going to use some powder to set everything. Now I have powder. This is the face and I Face Instant Ready Face and Under Eye Setting Powder Duo. This is the outside packaging. Now I have it in translucent, but I also have it in a lighter shade that's called Biscuit. Biscuit, I think. I, have, I thought that I would use one for the under eyes and one. Oh, I love the packaging. I love this kind of orangey, peachy shade. So this is the, I don't know, kind of like um, under eye and then powder. I'm going to use, ooh, I don't know. Let's use this with finger. Maybe I could use a brush instead, but, mm. oh, but we have new brushes. What am I doing? Let's use this. This is the number 5992. Oh, the brush feels soft. This under eye setting powder. You and your glam have got a good thing going. Don't let it fade by adding our two in one setting powder to your beauty routine. On the top level, you'll find a silky moisturizing pressed powder that uniquely made to lock in your under eye makeup and fill in any wrinkles. And on the bottom level, a sheer oil absorbing loose powder to keep your face brush and shine free AM to PM. And it says the same thing on both packaging, which means that it doesn't matter which, what shade you buy, you're going to have the under eye, under eye powder. And they look exactly the same. So I feel like these under eye powders are the same, but these loose powders are in different shades. So one is translucent. Okay, so let's go for the eyeshadow palette. Now, there are a couple of different eyeshadows, eyeshadow palette and loose other kind of single eyeshadows, but I went for Glam 110. So I went for this one that looked more like orangey one. I really like the packaging. So this kind of reminds me of the ColourPop shadows or Natasha Denona shadows, you know, the packaging and the um, Elf's one. But I really like these shades. Really like these shades. So let's go. There is one matte. This looks to be more like a satin, but we're just going to play with this. Let's now let's play with this. We are going to go and use this 5992. Are they all called 5992? Yes, they are. All of them are called 5992. I thought that every brush has its own number, like usually, but no. We are going to go into this middle shade here, as have a kickback, looks a little bit powdery, but... So, 
I did set my base, which means that these are going to be less pigmented directly on the eye. But you know what? When you build it up, it looks kind of nice, even. I always set my base under eye primer or base because otherwise it creases, like you said. So, I mean, this is pigmented. This yellow is pigmented. It's blending evenly. I don't, I don't like these brush, how brushes or forms of the brushes, how they are. I wish they were a little bit smaller. I am going to go into this orange that has like gold sparkles. I'm going to put this in the crease. I know some people don't like using shimmer shades in the crease, but we are going to do that today. Yeah, so you can see the sparkles too. It's pretty. I like it. I want to use all of the shades in this palette. And this one is also blending very nice. I feel like this orange will be really nice all over the eyelids. Oh, it's beautiful. These two bl blended really fast and really easy. Okay, let's go with another brush. Too, too big for the eyes. Let's go in f into this darkest shade here. That also looks more like a satin finish. I'm going to swatch this. Let's go in and use my regular makeup look. Now this one feels like we need to build it up. This one is a little bit harder to blend so I want to go in with a, another brush of mine. And this is the Soso and Kayla collab number four. I'm going to that dark brown just to see if we can Make it more pigmented. So this brown is actually a little bit disappointing because it does tease a little bit more patchy. I feel like this brown is very... Mm, it's not good. These, the yellow and the orange one eh, blend like a dream, but this brown is not as pigmented, is patchy and it's... No, we don't like it. Okay, let's go in with this yellow one. And I am going to try another brush. Let's more use this flat one and see if this is going to... No, let's use finger. I don't even know what I tried. Okay, there we go. Hmm, not as pigmented as I thought. Okay, definitely buildable. I'm going to go into this shade here. Huh. This one is not showing. Yeah, no. Uh, nothing special. This pink is very hard pressed. I just watch, watch them to see what we are dealing with. So let's go in this and you see how I am really pressing because this one is really hard pressed. Not at all, not much is coming. Let's go into yellow. This one is more soft pressed. This one is really nice. Oh, wrong, sorry. <laughs> okay. Let's go back in this one. Very powdery. Oh, now I have yellow. Shade everywhere. Let's go into this one. So these are the shades. And if you can see how powdery they are. But this one is really hard pressed. Okay, let's swatch it on my arm. And I'm pressing, can't even see it here. This gold is, I don't know if you can see how. Yeah, let me. Now, this brown is swatching really nice, but it's really hard to work with it on the eyes. This one. These two are easy to use and blend. This one is very crumbly. And this first one, you can't even see it. It's. 
and I had to press really, really hard to get it. Not really happy with the eyeshadow. I, I'm happy with the eyeshadow look. I'm just not happy with the eyeshadows, but it is what it is. Let's go and see if we can find something else that may be good because I did like the foundation, the matte one. So I am going to go in and go use the primer, face primer. Now, I bought this face primer that's in this packaging. Get that baby soft, flawless skin you were born with thanks to a primer gel. The first step in your glam routine, it forms. It forms and fine light layer on your skin to soften, brighten and smooth out imperfections. Say boo bye to visible pores and hello to a more even complexion with soothing rose extract. Now that's you've got the perfect base. Your makeup will go on like a breeze, last longer and look like a dream. I really like um, the text about the product, description. The person that wrote these are, is really small. They are catchy, they are nice, interesting. But look at this. Oh, I almost threw away the spatula. Look at this cute packaging. Isn't this a beauty? Hello to my ring light. Look at this beauty. And we have a spoon. It doesn't have any scent, but look at this texture. Interesting. Ooh. It's like an um, Elf's Puffy Primer. So I'm going to use a little bit. I don't know how much to... Does it smell anything? Oh, woo. Maybe I applied a little bit too much. I can instantly see that I'm glowy. Oh, what I don't like being glowy. A little bit poor minimizing, it definitely is. It feels light, a little bit tacky, it feels like a heavier moisturizer. Now I have eyeshadow everywhere. I tried to remove it, but it's everywhere. Yeah, I like how the primer looks on the skin right now. I do like that. Okay, let's for the, go for the foundation. And the foundation says, get ready for skin finished possibilities with your our creamy medium coverage foundation that is designed to min mimic the natural look of your skin but sub in extra hydration and gorgeous glow say boo bye to cakey pore clogging foundations of the past this advanced formalized ultra light wear blendable and breathable for barely their feel i mean i'm sorry my lips are really really dry so i'm going to go in and try this jelly wow she Glam Hydrating Lip Oil. Now they had different ones and I went for um, Berry, Molly Blueberry. Molly Blueberry, ditch the gloss and reach for moisturizing non-sticky lip oil instead. We infused its innovative formula with antioxidants, blueberry extract, hyaluronic acid and squalens to deliver a healthy moisturizing shine that feels divine. So let's just apply this. Ooh, look at how cute this is. And it has, this brush looks really huge, or this applicator. And mm, it is a um, big applicator. Let's see. Mm, it's see through, through. Maybe a little bit blue. Mm. It feels really thick. Not sticky, but really nice on the lips. I like it so far. Let's continue. Foundation. Yes. And it comes in this nice, like Tom Ford packaging. So it's kind of liquidy. I think that's enough for pumps. The shade is Shell. And let's use the sponge. Ooh. Now let's go in. This sponge is a little bit firmer than a beauty blender. I feel like the sponge is a little bit too firm. Kind of bounce from the face and leaves 
these more can you see more so you need to be careful when you go with it so I don't know if this is my favorite sponge but I mean I can make it work I look very shiny and it's not my cup of tea the sponge I'm not really a big fan of it kind of removes the foundation I do have brushes but I don't feel like using them for the foundation and uh, the coverage is medium it does look like I have foundation on but Let's finish everything and see how it's going to look at the end. Let's go to the concealer. Now I have um, two shades of the concealer. Finland Tahiti. I mean they look nice both of them but I think I'm going to go with the mix both of them. I'm going to use these that I already have. My, let's go with Finland. Place that. This one has more like a yellow on the tone, very bright. Let's go with Tahiti. And more pink on the tone. Did I, I didn't read what it says on the packaging. Let's do that first. Let's see what kind of text it has on this one. A versatile creamy long wear liquid concealer with color correcting shades to brighten the under eye area and conceal Troubled areas. Blend and flawlessly conceal your dark circle, redness, high pigmentations, age spots, and discolorations with a luminous matte finish. Concealer colors are packed with hydrating ingredients to offer your light as air fill and buildable coverage for all skin types. Sounds good. I like mixing these two shades. Using the same sponge. Ooh, ooh, I love the concealers. I don't know if you can hear my son, but he's playing Fortnite with his friends online and he's talking with them. I hope it doesn't bother you guys. Okay, so I really like how this concealer looks on the eye under the eyes. That's a spot. Foundation, I'm not really it looks good, but it's more luminous, and I'm not a luminous person, so I'm scared that this is going to just look like a mess on my skin. But before we set everything, I know this dish is going to crease soon, but let's just pretend it's not. We are going to use these matte bronzers, or cream bronzers. I have Soft Tan El Golden Sun. Now, oh, they have the brushes on the other side. I bought two shades, because one of them, this is the Golden Sun, look to be more they look really nice golden sun look to be more like a warm undertone and the other one was more like a cold undertone and this one is soft tan which gave me an idea to have one for contour and the other one for bronzing yes this is definitely soft tan let's use this to contour a little bit Oh, I don't like the brush, it's too stiff for the face. Let's go in with this brush from this collection. Oh, it feels like it removes the foundation. Let's go with a sponge. The sponge is definitely way to go, but it almost blends into nothing. So I am uh, going to go in this with this other shade. This blending nice. It blends almost into nothing. I don't know if you can see on my hand. So it's very easy to build up. Let's go into this shade Golden Sun and let's bronze this face. And yes, we are going to go in heavy because we just witnessed or see saw how easy to blend and we are going to use the sponge just because I want to it's blending nice almost into nothing I feel like I wish it was a little bit too a little bit more pigmented but if you want soft look this is definitely to go and if you're scared to use um creamy product maybe this is something to experiment with because it's very soft and blends into almost nothing but it blends very nice and even i like this okay so i have two shades i have a dreamer 
they also have the brush on the other side, the one you're going to use. We are not going to use the brush. Dreamer. Ooh, very nice. And then they don't smell good, so don't smell them. Um, Wild Love. That's more light. Let's go with that. Maybe it's a mistake going right in here. Sometimes it can remove the foundation, but we are full with risks today. Let's see how this is going to blend and maybe we can go on top with that other shades. I'm going to try to use a um, clean side. Oh, it's very nice. It's definitely, it's pigmented, but this is also blending really, really nice on top of the, it's blending like a dream. I'm going to go in a little bit with this shade. Look how easy they are to blend. And just go in on top. I like it. I love the blush and the bronzer really, really much. I like it a lot. We are going to go in and use this product and I am going to pick up this powder puff because we are going to use one of the powders to set on the eyes. This concealer start creasing but not as much as the concealer usually do on my under my eyes. I like this concealer. I think the concealer is my favorite thing from everything that we've tried so far. I'm going to go in with this that has some pigment, Instant Ready Biscuit. But I'm going to go first with the under eye powder and I am going to use the puff just to see because I do prefer to use puffs. I can't even see it. Wait, wait. Wait, where are the pores? Guys, where are the pores? I need to come very close so you can see. You see how it looks with the powder and without the powder? It definitely did what it says that it's going to smooth, fill in the pores and fill in the lines. This is so good. Of course, when I smile, you can see my lines. It's not going to make them disappear. But look. We like, we like what we see. We like. And this puff is really soft. I like these puffs. Okay, so I'm going to go and use the same puff. It's a little bit dirty now, but I'm going to use the same puff and I'm going to go and use this powder biscuit and set the rest of the face. This has some pigment. Okay, so it definitely made everything look so much smoother and uh, I like it. I like the powder a lot, especially the under eye powder. Really enjoy it. I'm going to leave this puff under here. And that's nice. Maybe let's see. I just put this puff in here. Let's see if we can close. Yes, it does. Ooh, that's cute. Like that. I'm going to finish the makeup look and I'm just going to put this um, orange under the eyes. I'm going to use this brush that we used before. Just clean it a little bit. And then I'm going to go into this yellow in the center of the palette and just that we had in the crease and try to blend. Oh my god, they're so powdery. We have a highlighter, but before we go in with highlighter, I do want to go in with the mascara. Now they had a couple of different mascaras. I did went with this Shield Glam only one light light volume love <laughs> can't talk volume and length mascara. And I love my eyelashes to get both. 
and it's the black version black mascara look at the packaging i love it so one side is volumizing and the other one is lengthening and i know which one is which one so i know which one is which one it doesn't say but so we are going to curl our lashes and just go in and um, try this mascara too before we go with highlighter and eyebrows on one side it's like this and we are going to use this first okay the brush is feeling nice the separate my lashes okay so this is with one coat of this side we're going to go in with the other side and see if we can build it up and how it's going to look this kind of brush okay i really like this i'm going to go in with the other side again just to see if i can build it up this is one coat of both sides and it looks amazing now usually mascaras flake and smudge on me but i'm not going to wear this whole day so it's going to be kind of sad for me because i would like to know if it's going to uh how it's going to look oh oh it's buildable definitely buildable this is how it looks i love how my eyelashes look i like this kind of plumpier thicker eyelash look so plus for the mascara i hope it won't smudge and flake and look crazy but it does give me like falsy effect now we are going to go to highlighter and uh we are going to go with this one this is the creamy cut highlighter or gel highlighter it's Cosmic Crystal Mousse Highlighter, Vanilla, Vanilla Sky, or Sky, I don't know, I can't find the name, but this is how the name looks. And it says, like a yummy treat for your face, our innovative highlighter delivers dewy shine for good measure. Apply it to your high points, like your cheekbones and beneath your brow, bonus, beneath your brow, bonus, because it is creamy formula, there's no fallout that's good it looks to be more yellow oh, i love the packaging though let's watch it oh it's like powdery creamy oh oh wow oh it's definitely gold so let's see let's see interesting formula i'm using the finger on this side i feel like it's better to tap it on then i'm not flaking you sorry guys then uh, oh i like how it looks on the skin though definitely wet formula oh i'm loving this i love this highlighter i can't explain the texture is something so interesting look it kind of ma makes everything look wet and i love the highlighter I don't know, I have anything like this in my collection. I need to see if there is other shades because this looks so damn good. I love it. It's definitely no fallout. That's the truth. Eyebrows. Now for the eyebrows, I had different couple of different products. I have this She Glam Feather Better Liquid Eyebrow Pencil. Need that feather fix? We hear you. You. That's why we created this ultimate four-stroke tip liquid eyebrow pencil that specifically designed to deal in detail line for the fluffers brows around town. You don't need to do to be a pro to give this look a go. The tool is super easy to use and keep your look on lock from a.m. to p.m. Now I never used anything like this before with this tip and if you can see it here in front this i haven't used anything like this before so i'm kind of scared i got the shade what shade did i got brown medium brown um it has this kind of tip oh 
Mm. I also got a couple of other products from the brand. I got the brow shaping wax, high brow high, get yourself some gorgeous brow all day. Every day without tay in place shaping wax. Strong yet super flexible. This formula keeps every every hair lifted and lined with just a few strokes that feathers look your love. I, don't know, I didn't even realize, understood what I was reading. But this is how it looks. And it's a shaping gel. And this is not going anywhere. I'm kind of going on with my hand. It's not going anywhere. And I also got this is this product here. This is the Eyebrow Expert Palette. 102 Ash Brown. Your own step, your one step solution to less than full brows. This brow palette features two complementary powder shades and slender brow that allows you to create the perfect costume color to mimic your own hair color, ensuring a natural looking result with enhanced stru structure and depth. A transparent wax helps tame uh, stay hairs alongside the sp Fully brows for full groom finish, compact enough to keep it in a handbag or on to go. So this is supposed to have a gel too. Ooh, ooh, look that night looks. Oh, and you open it like this. Ooh, luxury, luxury. Oh wow, this looks really nice. I like this. This looks high quality. But I am kind of cur curious to try the um, products here. So I'm going to go in with this. I don't know if I'm going to go with a brow. Let's do a brow wax on the first one. Uh, let's go with this brush that we got that's a little bit cleaner. So I'm picking up some brow wax. And it's... I've never used anything like this. I did use the soap a couple of times, but brow wax, no. So brow wax is kind of, it's good. I don't know if it will be the best to keep thicker in eyebrows in place, I don't think so. So let's go in with this product on the side where we have the brow wax. I don't think it's the best one, but... Now I had to press it like this to get some pigment, but you see then they smooshed together. So I think this is this needs to be a, there is a learning curve with this product, but I definitely prefer this product without the brow brow wax uh, because I'm not a big really a big fan of this brow wax. I mean maybe apply too much I don't know. We have a couple of products for the lips now. There is a problem. Okay, let's be honest. I bought a little bit too much. Too many products for the lips. Uh, I have three lip pencils. We're going to swatch them soon. But we have these lipsticks. I have two shades. They look more like luxury shades uh, or luxury products. One is in this shade that it's called Cheek, and the one is Bachelorette. That's kind of pink. It does. It looks nice. It doesn't uh, go with this makeup look cheek maybe we'll see then i have another shade that's called nude and this is the version creamy allure lipstick this kind of lipstick too i didn't show you this other one that looks like this black packaging and then we also have this shade that lipstick that is called Twin Flame, that it's more like lip hydrating lipstick that is in this beautiful color. 
and I also have others. Let's see. We have two more. Uh, we have two more of the two two of these blurred effect lip matte lip whip matte lip whip count so many words pow and let summer. Hmm. Let's see the shades of these two. The things I didn't try today, which is not many, will definitely, it's this kind of packaging. We have this shade. Oh, this is a, mmm. That looked strange. Late summer. Let's swatch it. Okay, now let's see. This is the POW shade. Oh, this is like a thicky, moussey color. That's nice. Like a powder lipstick, but not really. And late summer. This shade is very interesting. Oh, it's so thick. Hmm. Now, let's see this shade. Cheek. Velvet Perfect. Our Velvet Glamour lipstick feather is a soft velvet matte finish that's easy to apply one swear for beautiful color and long wear. Has this black packaging. Yes, this shade is more like a nude shade. Let's go with that. That looks stunning. I'm going to remove this oil, which feels very nice on the lips. It definitely moisturizes my lips. I'm going to use lip liner. I have three shades. Contrade Jungle, uh, Toasted Brazen and con Contrade Jungle... Can't pronounce the name. It doesn't say the names of the product lipstick when you lip liner. They look nice. Pigment though. When this On the outside packaging there is none, but not at the packaging of the product itself. There is all three shades, and I think I'm going to use this, this one, the last one. Okay, let's see. Creamy. That's nice. I do want to go in with this other shade too, to warm it up a little bit. I feel like this one is a little bit too cold. Definitely overlined a little bit too much, but let's just go with the flow, won't we? And I love the packaging of this lipstick. Let's go with this one. Oh, that's creamy. Oh, this is really creamy. Okay, guys, so this is the final look now. There are some products that I really like. Let's talk about the foundation. The foundation looks nice. It looks more luminous than I would like it, but if you have dry skin, I think you will like this foundation. And I think I'm going to mix it with the, the matte one. The matte one I really, really enjoy. So the foundation is good. It does what it says it's going to do, and it looks nice. The primer also looks really good. I like the primer. Eyeshadow primer, I don't know. I mean, it was easy to apply it. I need to wear it a little bit longer. I need to use it with my other products. Eyeshadows that I really enjoyed, and then I will let you know how it works. Eyeshadows, I'm not really impressed. I didn't actually like the eyeshadows. It looks really nice now, and we did get to this, but it, these two shades were really nice. This, two shades. This one was terrible. This one was okay. This one was terrible. So, I mean, you can get better eyeshadows for also a little bit of money. I mean, it's not, ex this one wasn't expensive, but I think you can get better out there. Now, the brushes I didn't like. I didn't use all of them, but I, the eyeshadow brushes I didn't like. This powder, I think it will work fine. We'll see. I will continue to use them. I'll let you know later. Sponges were okay. Not my favorites. I will use them. Of course, I do I do change my sponges very... Yeah, very often. So after a couple of uses, I do like to change my sponge. So, what else? Um, eyebrow products. Mm, I didn't use this beautiful set. I need to try this one. Um, 
because I didn't really like I'm not really sure about this pen. I think you can get better pens out there that do the same thing. Also the brow wax, it's not holding at all. Uh, the mascara, I do like the mascara a lot. The creamy bronzer, the creamy blush, I do like a lot. I think uh, I need to build it up a little bit more because I like when it's a little bit more pigmented. But if you're scared of using cream products and you want to be sure that it's going to blend, this is definitely something to try because they blend effortlessly. They blend very nice and uh, it looks really good on the skin. The highlighter is also one of my favorite. I love the highlighter so much. The powder, I do love the powder a lot. Continue using. The lip oil I do a lot, like, look, like a lot. The lip liners I do like. I also like this lipstick, this, um, this kind of lipstick. I don't know these others. Let me swatch this other shade. I mean, this other shade looks also really good. Doesn't go with my lipstick though. Look at this shade. I don't usually wear this kind of shades. Oh, but look at this pigmentation. I'm definitely going to experiment more with these lipsticks. So I'm going to try it another time. But it looks really good. I have to... I don't know these other lip, lip, lipsticks that I didn't use today. Ooh, look. It definitely stained my hand. So I need to try them out a little bit more and I'll let you know what I think about them. I really like the concealers. It didn't crease. I love the concealers. I'm definitely going to continue using them. Um, I think I got everything. These are the products that I haven't had a chance to try today. I'll definitely do in another video or I'll outside the videos, but I'll let you know in a future video how it have powder everywhere, how it went. So overall, there are a couple of products that I like, a couple of products I didn't like. Definitely my top three products or four products today. Five, six. Okay, let's just see. This is the products I really enjoyed today. This is the lip oil, lipstick, uh, this black uh, packaging lipstick, the concealer, the highlighter, mascara and the powder and also the puffs. I like those a lot. Lip liners I do like too. Uh, I also like, like I said, the other cream products. The only thing I didn't really enjoy is maybe the foundation. No, the foundation I did like. One thing that actually disappointed me a lot and also the eyebrow products that I've used but otherwise everything else went on nice. Guys, that was everything I had for you today. Today, Let me know down below what you think about this makeup look. What do you think about these products? Have you tried it yourself? Would you like to try them? Let me know down below. Let me know also if there is anything else you want me to try from She Glam. Please tag me in that. Please let me know down below. I will put my uh, TikTok and Instagram information down below. I don't do videos on TikTok, but I do have an account. I have no idea what I will do. So if you have any suggestion, let me know. But that was everything, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching me and I hope I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.